everyone, Effie here. Today I'm going to make this gorgeous card using our watercolor bouquet stamp set. Now this is a 3x4 stamp set that features this watercolor abstract looking floral cluster stamp. Stamp this image using our Lofty Mint dye ink, which is a soft mint colored ink, and I just stamped it onto an A2 size card panel. Each time I stamped this cluster, I made sure to turn my acrylic block to the left or to the right to make sure that the cluster wasn't facing the same direction every time I stamped it. You want there to be a little bit of a variety to your stamped image because it is just the one image. So to get a different look, just make sure you rotate your block a little bit. Next, I'm going to take this gorgeous wreath stamp from our watercolor wreaths. It's a coordinating stamp set with that 3x4 set, and I stamped it in our Arctic Sky dye ink. This is a soft, cool blue ink. And I just stamped it onto some regular cardstock. And then I'm just going to color in the images using my Polychromos color pencils. If you don't have this specific brand. You can use any color pencils that you have in your stash. And I'm just going to use a light soft blue to color in the blossoms or blooms in this watercolor wreath cluster image. As I add the color, I'm going to start from the center of my flowers and I'm going to feather the strokes out. And I'm also going to take that same light blue and just Feather some additional strokes starting from the outer edge of the petal towards the inner edge, but make sure you leave a little bit of light space. Then I'm going to take a darker blue color pencil and I'm just going to add a little bit of shading starting from the center of my blossoms. Then I'm going to go back and use the lighter blue and just kind of add a little bit more uh, detailed shading to these uh, rose looking florals in my wreath. Then I added additional shading with a darker blue color pencil. Now I'm using the same colors for these blooms that I use on the original two blossoms. Blossoms. And I'm just going to use the same colors because I want there to be uh, some cohesiveness to my wreath. You can also go for a warmer tone. So instead of stamping the wreath in a light blue, you can stamp it in a light pink or a light orange and shade in your blossoms using reds and oranges and pinks. Uh, but I chose to go for a cooler color palette for this project. After I finished coloring in the blooms, I colored in the leaves using my grass green polychromos color pencil. Just note that I'm not going over the entire image with my colored pencils. I'm making sure to leave a little bit of white space in all the images, including the blossoms. And this way you're really letting the stamp work for you. I basically add a little bit of green accents to that light blue stamped image. Uh, there's a little bit of that light blue and the white space that is shining through behind the green accents. And you have those different dimensions of color that exist in this image without any effort on your own part because you're just adding a little tiny bit of green accents. Uh, so here, you have, you know, it's basically a four tone colored image, but you're really only adding two tones of color, the light green and the darker green. This is a wonderful technique to try out on this image because the image is a bit more abstract and I feel like the end result is a bit more artful. So I just continue to add shading to my foliage. Once I'm done with the foliage, I'm just going to add some bright yellow to these small florals. And I'm also just going to add a little bit more light blue as well, just to add a little bit more dimension using color. Then I took the coordinating die for this lovely wreath and I die cut my colored pencil image. Next, I cut out this border using the largest die from our double stitched rectangles small die collection. These dies leave an outer and inner stitch line to the die cut. So you have the stitch line on the negative and positive spaces. I cut the largest die out of an A2 size card panel and basically I took the negative space. I left the positive space for a later project and this created that larger uh, outer border frame that I'll be using. Then I took the second and third largest dies from this collection to create this smaller 
framed piece. Then I just glued down that larger frame right onto my stamped panel using liquid adhesive. You may want to use a uh, liquid glue that leaves you a little bit of wiggle room before uh, you can permanently adhere the piece down just to make sure that you get your frame nicely flush onto your stamped panel. Next, I popped up my smaller frame right onto the stamped panel using some dimensional foam tape. Next, I took my colored penciled wreath and I popped this up right on top of the other frames on the stamp panel. I'm almost done here. I'm just going to stamp my sentiment. This is a happy birthday sentiment from the watercolor read set. And I stamped this using our Cobalt Breeze dye ink. And then lastly, I just embellished my card using some mint enamel dots. And my card is now complete. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and project. I'll see you next time. Bye!